right. Um, Mr. Zhou, uh, you're charged with violation of probation. Uh, VOP is a special court. You'll see them in two or three days. Uh, your bond is zero. They will address your bond. Thank you very much. Next uh, is uh, Edwards, Rhonda Edwards. Your Honor? Your Honor? Uh, yes. Over here, Your Honor. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. All right. Can I just confirm that if you, unless you say otherwise, you are appointing the public defender to all yes. cases? Yes, thank you for saying that. Uh, I do appoint the public defender for all cases, and also uh, we do find probable cause for all cases unless it's challenged. Thank you, Your Honor. <clears throat> thank you. Uh, yes. Okay, and uh, you are Ms. Edwards? Yes, sir. Okay, Ms. Edwards, this is a battery on a domestic, uh, battery on a person or 65 or older. And uh, do we have, now folks, uh, there's about a dozen people in the audience. Uh, you may be here simply for support, um, but if you're here to speak to me, want, wanting me to know something, then I want to hear you. And so when we call, when you hear me say the name, uh, stand up, come over to the uh, door, and someone will let you in, and then you come up to the microphone uh, when I acknowledge you. Uh, and tell me your name in a loud and clear voice, and then uh, we'll see what you want to say. So we do want to hear from you. So uh, that's, uh, I want you to understand that. Okay, if there's nobody in the audience for this particular defendant, um, state uh, your thoughts about Bond. I'm fine with the uh, schedule, Your Honor, so I think that's at least $500. Or an F two. Um, so this is this is a misdemeanor, I believe. It is not, Your Honor. Or it's a felony. Yes. Okay. Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, and the felony is because the person uh, is over 80, 65? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. All right. And I think uh, this was your daughter. Uh, you and your was he? No, sir, it was my mother. I'm sorry. I'm 50, 57. My mom is 77. It was my mother. Oh, it was your mother that you got into the. There was no contact at all. It was just. Right. We'll talk about the. Facts. I'm sorry. All right. Sorry. The uh, yeah, I read the, I read it and understand what happened. Um, so we'll go ahead and also I do want to. Let's see, Florida convictions, we have a petty theft, uh, there's a prior battery. Um, uh, State, can you tell how long it's been since she's been in trouble? It says, it says 1999 was the last conviction, Your Honor. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, we'll, go, we'll go ahead and um, allow... Do you, do you think you and she can live in the same house now? Yes, yes, sir. Well, um, with uh, no with them with the victim not being present, we generally don't do um, return to the premises. That is correct, Your Honor. Yeah. Unless the victim can state otherwise, uh, we would ask that it be a no contact. Right. Yeah. If she was here uh, to say that it was okay to come back to the house. Uh, we would feel comfortable to allow you to do that. But without her here, we have to assume that she wants to uh, you not to be there. Uh, so uh, we'll go ahead and, and do the bond uh, at $500. Uh, I've lowered it because of the relationship, and I, I don't think it was a serious incident, although it was an incident. Um, so a $500 bond. 
uh, no return to the premises. Uh, she can return with law enforcement one time to get her clothing uh, and any tools uh, that she may need. Um, and uh, is there anything else I'm forgetting? Nothing from the state, Your Honor. Okay. All right. Uh, thank you very much, ma'am. Okay. Next, we have Jamar. Oh, we do have our Creole uh, translator on the line. So this is Moville uh, Dusant. Okay. I'm good. Okay. All right. We do have somebody who will speak. <clears throat> now, sir, you can take your mic, mic, uh, your mask down, so you don't have to have it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Um, okay. Do we have the translator online? Yes. Hi. My name is Francesca. I'll be your Haitian Creole interpreter. And have you been sworn in today? Not yet. Okay, Madam Clerk. Do you swear to interpret from Creole to English and English to Creole the testimony you will receive today? Yes. All right. And so, um, uh, ma'am, you're charged with battery, uh, domestic. Uh, and so, sir, uh, would you tell me your name and spell your last name? Parce que vous avez un charge pour vous avec vous domestique. Alors, s'il vous plaît, vous avez un dire non ou complet en prix. Non, pas c'est Richel Son Milford. My name is Richel Son Milford. Okay, and you were involved in this incident? Vous êtes involved dans l'incident? Bon. Mais c'est travail, c'est c'est travail, moi travail dans l'après-midi. Et puis madame m'a été rentrée avant. C'est une petite discussion et c'est maintenant avec madame. Et puis dans discussion mais ça ça a retranché mais en après okay. hier yeah. um okay. Judge, this is the interpreter. I would like to ask um, the other party to please give me a shorter sentence for accuracy purposes. Okay. Uh, Ma'am, will you please state your name and where you're from? S'il vous plaît, seulement dit comment relais qui côté au sorti. Moi-même ou bien Madame, s'il vous plaît, dit comment relais Yes. Uh, okay. Miss Dosant. I did not hear her. Can you speak last? No, but I'm saying Movli say. Movli? Oh. Oui, Movli Dwarsin. My name is Movli Dwarsin. Okay. And uh, he he said something a moment ago. Can you tell me what he said? Yes, I was at work, and when I came back, my wife and my sister was having an argument earlier, but so it was settled. That's where it stopped. At. And uh, the de and Miss uh, Desant, uh, she's your sister. Is that correct? Madame Desant, la sœur. Oui, c'est ça, mon grand ami. Yes, my older sister. All right, and she's living with you and your your wife. Lia vive ensemble avec quoi, madame? Yeah, in the same car, in the same house. Yes, we all live in the same house. Okay, um, but since you had this incident, uh, I'm hesitant to allow her to come back. She doesn't have to live there, uh, and so would you prefer that she find another place to live? Depuis l'incident, alors on va pas permettre de lui retourner à vivre la caille, la même caille. On va gagner l'autre côté pour lui vouloir la rester. Yeah, gagner tant on gagne ça m'avait, il dit me l'a obligé, la prendre pour lui mettre la caille. Ça c'est pas cartonné même côté. Yes, I have Yes, I have my uncle. He have agreed that he would take her to live with him. 
Okay. All right. Um, we'll go ahead and I don't see, I know she hasn't been in the country a long time, um, but I don't see any real serious uh, priors um, unless I'm overlooking something. And so we'll go ahead and do a $500 bond uh, bail, I mean, and, um, and that you are, uh, you are to uh, not return to that premises. However, you can go there with a law enforcement person. You call them, and they will accompany you to get your things. So, sir, you may want to just pack up her stuff uh, and organize it so when they come there, um, uh, it's just a short period of time that they have to be there. Uh, so she can only come there with law enforcement one time to get her clothing and any other personal effects. Um, and then uh, you're to have no contact while the case is pending. One moment, please. Uh, I'm sorry. This is the interpreter. One moment, please. Nous voulons faire connaître à cause comme étant donné que il pas longtemps dans le pays et que à moins que quelque bagage mal pas bien change avant pour raison ça il y a un en 500 dollars bond pour capable sortir mais cependant il a ordonné pour pas retourner dans même cas là encore même bagage pour la prendre si c'est lui besoin il prend yo faut qu'il cherche la police qui pour accompagner pour les al prend et faire personnel li yo ou même monsieur c'est pour ramasser ou bien sembler tout est fait personnel li l'elle vini pour capable prendre yo et faut qu'il accompagné par la police OK and so uh, no return without law enforcement no contact while the case is pending uh, and you are not allowed to have any firearms of any sort. Uh, and um, am I forgetting anything, State? No, Your Honor. Okay. All right. Uh, thank you very much. You're supposed to pass the way you You're supposed to get a Ken contact, but that your case is always in attempt. And you're not supposed to pass the way you can get a Ken type of exam due to the period of due to. Okay, next, uh, Jamar, Jamar Jackson. Um, okay. Present, Your Honor. Uh, Mr. Jack. Oh, uh, interpreter, uh, I'm, yeah, we, we thank you for your service and, and uh, you are discharged. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for using our services. Have a great day. Yes, ma'am. And do we cut it off somehow? Okay. Okay, this is, uh, are you Mr. Jackson? Yes, sir. Okay, Mr. Jackson, uh, you're charged with aggravated, aggravated assistance with a deadly weapon, um, domestic violence, and then a battery. Um, and I believe uh, this is a situation where, um, okay. That um, that uh, you punched her in the eye um, and causing bruising, so it was a physical fight, and then you grabbed a silver knife uh, was the allegations, and so uh, I let's see. Do we have uh, any issues like uh, I see a violent felony offender of special concern? Is that just? on the form or is that yeah, that was generated due to the charge your honor but he's not on probation uh, i'm sorry i didn't the vfosc it generated due to the charge but he's not a violent felony offender oh okay yes thank you no. mm. Okay, um, now this is a state, is this felony? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, uh, in, in this situation, uh, we'll go ahead and, and have the $1,000 bond. 
the bail bail to be a thousand dollars, and um, she's not here. Mm -hmm. So let's have uh, you and she live together, correct? Uh, yes. Okay. If you have any things at her place, uh, there, you were sort of hesitant, so I'm not sure exactly what you were implying. But uh, you can go back with law enforcement, with law enforcement only, and one time, and get your stuff, uh, clothing, tools, that sort of thing. Then to have no contact with her uh, until the case is over with, uh, while the case is pending. And so no contact and no return to the place um, and a thousand dollar bond. Is that a thousand on count one, Your Honor? Because there's two counts. Um, oh, yes. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, we'll do the thousand on count one and then we'll do uh, 500 um, uh, on count two. On, I meant to say the thousand on count one and the, the um, 500 on count two. All right, thank you. In addition, Your Honor, can I ask for no uh, drugs, no alcohol? Okay. Uh, no drugs or alcohol. Uh, consumption. Okay, next we have uh, Mr. McKnight. Okay, Mr. McKnight, uh, I noticed that this says that there's a warrant. Um, and this, uh, there, you, you are out on bond, false imprisonment, grand theft, grand theft, battery, um, $8,300. And then we have false imprisonment, domestic aggravated assault with a deadly weapon and carjacking. Uh, now... So, the um, so is the is that car uh, state is that carjacking uh, an F one? No, Your Honor. This one is an F two because it was um, an attempt. Oh, okay. Okay, we have false imprisonment, domestic, uh, and uh, the um, you know I see last Florida conviction, July of eleven, uh, robbery with a firearm, it. And so, I guess, uh, is that what he's out on bond on? It, but it says conviction, so is he... No, Your Honor, he is out on bond for the charges that you mentioned previously. The right. false imprisonment, the grand theft motor vehicle, grand theft. Okay, but that last Florida conviction, is, but then he has this whole list of robbery with a firearm, possession of ammunition by a convicted felon, and then it goes down about 20 lines of various crimes, uh, drug and non-drug and firearms. Um, yes, robbery with a firearm was his last conviction. That is what he went to prison for, where he was released in September of 2020. And then he's back here uh, on the these charges, one of them being a carjacking, um, but in domestic implica domestic implications, it sort when I look at that history, um, it seems to me that he should be a no bond um, because of his violent history, and then this new incident, um, and it just seems to be too much history uh, and that he's lost the right. Because one of the reasons, you know, obviously 
uh, it's not just to have someone show up in court, but it's also public safety. And there is a point where you've committed so many different violations that public safety demands that uh, you be in a no bond situation. Uh, or uh, I could do it just another way, just put a very high bond. State, which would you prefer? Your Honor, I, I have no objection to either way. Um, by statute, he is entitled to a bond with regard to these charges. However, with regard to his out on bond cases, you could revoke the bond and hold him at no bond. Okay. Um, I guess the, let's, we've got three counts, false imprisonment, uh, domestic. So let's go ahead and do that as, as uh, $10,000. And then we have aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Let's do that at 25,000. Uh, and then carjacking, uh, let's do that at 50,000. And then we look at the, uh, uh, the bond that he's out on. And so we'll revoke it uh, and, um, and uh, we'll change that to be 50000 um, for that. And so... Um, Your Honor, there's six charges on the Adam Bond, so... Say again? There's six charges oh, on his Adam Bond case. Oh, there's six charges, okay. Uh, where is that? All right, uh, public defender, thank you very much. I, I see what you mean now. I, I wasn't thinking about the, um, uh, so let's go ahead and uh, on, so we've revoked the prior bond, but as, as public defender rightfully said, uh, it has separate counts. So I'm gonna, let's go ahead and do, um, 20,000 on each of them. So 20,000 times six. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, next is Avery Williams. Hospital. Um. Okay. All right. Um, let's just make Avery Williams that he's to see initial appearances uh, within 24 hours of being released from the hospital and return to uh, BRC. Okay. Are you Mr. Williams? Yes, sir. Okay. Mr. Williams, uh, you're charged with two counts. One's a robbery and one's an aggravator battery on a pregnant person. Um, and uh, state your, your thoughts on this. One moment, Your Honor. Your Honor, this, um, this defendant is also the co-defendant of the previous gentleman who we just passed by because he was in the hospital. Uh, the two of them beat up, I believe it is, his girlfriend um, while she was pregnant, like she still is pregnant. Uh, based on that, Your Honor, I would ask for at least $5,000 on the robbery and then an additional 2500 for the aggravated battery, Your Honor. Okay, public defender. Your Honor, my client <clears throat> was a co-defendant in the alleged robbery. Um, however, Your Honor, I just ask that you take into account um, that this was a fight with his brother um, where it was reported that a, a gun was pointed at him. 
um, and his brother allegedly shot the gun at him. I just ask that you take into account he has no criminal history. Um, he's been in the Orlando area for over a year. So I just ask that you take all those things into account when setting his bond. Um, I have no issue with the $5,000 bond on count one, um, but I would ask for at least a $1,000 bond on count two. Okay. All right. We have nobody in the audience. So um, now this robbery is an F2 or F1? F2, Your Honor. F2. All right. Um, then we'll do the F2 uh, would be $25,000. Um, and then aggravator battery of $1,500. No, $2,500. I meant to say $2,500. Um, thank you. And your honor, count one is how much? Uh, first one is 25000 and And then um, no contact with the victim uh, or witnesses. Um, and um, I don't think it, it relates to, uh, in terms of the return to the scene. I don't, I don't think that relates here, does it? Uh, not really, Your Honor. Can okay. I also ask, also ask for no uh, firearms, no weapon? Right, no firearms, no weapons, Madam Clerk. Your Honor, he has no history. A $25,000 bond and my client's social security disability on count one seems extremely high when he's never been in trouble before. Um, would you at least consider reducing it to 10000 and stay the, the second count at 2500 Okay. Um, state any aggravating things I need to know? No, Your Honor. Okay. All right. Uh, at the request of public defender, we'll change it to ten. Thank you, Your Honor. Okay. Next is, I think that was Mr. Williams. And so next would be... So next with Ferguson, are you Mr. Ferguson? Oh, oh I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. I, are you Mr. Williams, Stephen Williams? Okay. Um, all right, this is an aggravated uh, ass assault with a deadly weapon, domestic. Um, and then there's nobody in the audience. Uh, you had some juvenile stuff. Um, You have battery, disturbing school employee. Your Honor, um, I do. I would ask that you take into account that um, uh, per the inmate and his mother, he has some mental health issues, which may um, be an underlining problem. Um, so I just ask that you take that into account. Understanding he does have the violent history, but that it may be. Um, some mental health issues, that's the underlying cause that has not been addressed. I notice uh, it says when, when Stephen threatened Brianna with a knife, he was approximately three feet away um, and stated he was going to kill her uh, with a knife. Um, state? Uh, your thoughts? It seems like perhaps we should order a mental health evaluation. Um, um, because, you know, just letting him post bond and going out there, uh, the next time we see him, it could be a death case, you know. And I, um, your Honor, um, I am going to um, put a note in for my attorney to do the mental health evaluation. Since he doesn't qualify for the pretrial release, usually we'll do mental health pretrial release, but he doesn't qualify. So I'm going to write my attorney to let him know that he needs to be evaluated um, for this case, a mental health evaluation. Yeah, and when you throw in his juvenile convictions, um, it's really, you know, because your attorneys, these are two excellent attorneys, and, uh, and they care about society, and they care about the defendants and doing things right, and so do I. Um, but we don't want to set you up to where things, you know, get worse for you. We want you to get better. Because, uh, frankly, most people that have anger issues... Um, 
a lot of that is they need to be on medicine. Uh, I, I'm on medicine. I, I have heart medicine. I take every day. Uh, and so if you feel yourself angry or you get explosive, uh, most people... Most people get mad, but they don't get angry, and and they don't go crazy. Uh, and so, uh, the point being, um, uh, you know, I don't want you to uh, be have a life of in and out of jail or prison. And so, we'll go ahead and um, and. And um, let me just check one more thing. And this is a felony, so let's go ahead and and um, we have one count. So let's go ahead and make it uh, uh, $10,000. Um, and public defender, I think after e evaluation, the 10000 could be lowered. Once we have evaluation and and under and uh, we want to, we're not trying to be mean at all. We're trying to help you, and and luckily the public defender's office in in the Ninth Judicial Circuit is one of the best, and uh, and so uh, listen to them because they want to help you, as I do. So um, so right now that's a high bond, um, but until we we figure out how we can help you some. All right, thank you um, very much. Conditions, Your Honor? Uh, say again. Conditions? Do you have any conditions oh, other um, than the bond? Yeah, I think uh, no return to the premises, no contact with the victim, um, no weapons of any sort. Um, and um, is there anything else I'm forgetting? Um, um, Your Honor, you said the one-time return with law enforcement? Yes. Okay, yes, and one-time return to law enforcement. And nothing else from the state, Your Honor. All right. All right. Thank you, folks. Okay, next we have Junior Ferguson. Yes, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Mr. Ferguson. Uh, this is a domestic battery. We don't have anybody in the audience. Um, when I turn the page and look at his history, it's one of the larger histories. Um, and the um, and so. And then they got into a fight with the girlfriend. Um, so, uh, your thoughts, State? Your Honor, this is a misdemeanor. Um, so, taking into consideration his history, I would just ask for a thousand dollar bond. Now, can you speak up just a little louder? I apologize. I usually, for a misdemeanor, the bond would be five hundred dollars. However, based on his history, I would ask for a thousand dollar bond, Your Honor. Right. Okay. Um, okay, a thousand dollar is the is the bail in that. Uh, no. Do you and this lady live together? Sir, the last time I did, the lady was two thousand sixteen. She just came my resident. Okay, so you don't live together today. Live together. Okay. Um, all right, and so no contact um, with the victim and uh, no alcohol, drugs. Uh, they don't live together, so we don't have to worry about going there. Um, all right, so could you order no return? Uh, right, no. But the incident happened in a car. Ah, okay. so, uh, so, uh, so no contact, I think, uh, and so you don't have any stuff at her place, do you, uh, Mr. Ferguson? Have just a moment, Your Honor. It's my house. Came all the way my house. 
Your Honor, the, the incident occurred actually at um, my client's house, so I would just ask for a maintained separate residence as opposed to a no return. Okay, thank you. Yeah, uh, maintain separate residence and no contact. Um, okay, and w anything else? Anybody? Okay, thank you very much. Okay, next we have Justin Figueroa. Justin Figueroa. Yes, sir. On this, uh, on this, uh, how many counts are there? Do you know the? Uh, I could, I guess there's one to eleven, so it must be eleven. Okay, it must be eleven counts. So I'm just going to say one to eleven, and rather than each naming each one, because I don't think I have all eleven named. All right, uh, and you are Mr. Figueroa? Yes, sir. All right, uh, Mr. Figueroa, uh, let's deal with the uh, bond, uh, the, the bond that you're out on. We'll revoke that bond. Uh, there are, uh, it's indicated here that there are 11 counts. So uh, let's go ahead and make each of those counts uh, $20,000. Um, Your Honor. Um, yes, sir. There's more than 11 counts. There's um, 11 counts for one charge, but I think there's about 31 counts. Okay. All. all right, let's go ahead and put 20,000 on every count uh, on the uh, prior bond. Okay. 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 Uh, just keep it easy. <laughs> all right. Uh, and then, um, and so it's revoked, and then the new bond is as I just said. And then we have a battery, a domestic, and um, and it is uh, it is a misdemeanor. So let's go ahead and make that a thousand dollars. And then uh, we do um, we do want uh, no alcohol or drugs, no contact with the alleged victim. Um, and uh, that if they if they they are to reside separately, and if he needs to, he can go there and get uh, any clothing or personal effects at her place, um, and that um, and then no firearms or or weapons or ammunition type thing, um, and. I think that uh, state did I cover everything? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, uh, Andre Keeley. Um, Keeley. Okay. Okay, ma'am, uh, would you uh, speak up loud and clear? I'm speaking, uh, for the record, I'm speaking to someone who's just entered the, uh, uh, the witness box. Uh, and so, ma'am, if you will, while they're talking, if you'll tell me your name and spell your last name. Um, my first name is Aliers. My last name is spelled C-A-L-C-A-N-O. Okay. And uh, what is your relationship with the defendant? My ex-boyfriend. I'm sorry. What is your relationship with ex-boyfriend? I'm I'm having trouble here. Can you take your mask down a little bit? Ex-boyfriend. Oh, okay. Former boyfriend. Okay. And uh, you were the person involved in this incident. Yes. Okay. And uh, has he been violent with you in the past? Yeah. And uh, do you want to just briefly not don't drag it out just briefly? Tell me what happened here. Um, 
I wrote a statement. Yeah, pull your mic. Uh, yeah. I wrote a statement. Do I have to say it no, again? No, just briefly. Um, we just got in an argument and it escalated. Um, I was packing some things up and. Okay, and did he hit you? He he grabbed me. Okay, uh, against your will. Yeah. Okay, and were you afraid of him? Yeah. And do you fear for your safety in the future? Kind of. Kind of. Okay. I no. It, you need to. You know, you're a young lady, and you need to speak up for your on your behalf. Uh, you need to be respected, because um, if you don't demand respect, people are not going to respect you. So uh, stand on your little flat feet and speak up. <laughs> and, uh, and so, okay. Um, all right. The, uh, it would appear that um, I'm looking at his history. Let me. Your Honor, he doesn't have any history. Okay. Uh, criminal history. He also has um, community ties. So I would just uh, go ahead and ask for the no contact order and a $500 bond. Um, I believe with the no contact order, if they're not allowed to have contact, that would um, resolve any further incidents. Okay. And I'm sorry, you may have asked, answered this question. And I just, ex ex uh, do you all live together? Not anymore. Okay. That's what I thought. Uh, so, uh, he doesn't need to come to your place to get no. anything? No. Uh, I know you're shaking your head, but you have to say yes uh, or no. No. Okay, no is the answer. All right. Uh, so uh, we'll go ahead and uh, do the $500 bond. Um, and, uh, and then no contact. No contact means no. No, no, no. Uh, and so don't call her, don't email her, don't have a friend contact her. And so uh, no contact means no contact. He's out of your life now. And if he contacts you by phone, internet, uh, or whatever, uh, do call the police because it'll be a violation of, of the order I'm giving today. Uh, and every day in Florida, one woman is killed in domestic violence, because I did domestic violence for nine years, uh, that court, and uh, so um, every single day when you wake up, some woman will be killed by a domestic partner in the state of Florida. And so this is not trivial, and you seem like a very nice lady, he seems okay, uh, and there are just sometimes you just don't um, you know, the strange thing about it is most, almost all, it's like 80% of women that are killed are killed by a domestic partner. 20% are prostitutes and drug addicts, and they just have a lifestyle that is very dangerous. But 80% of the women that are murdered in the state of Florida, I think it is true about the whole country, 80% of the women killed in America are killed by the boyfriend. Uh, and, and so who you date is one of the most important things uh, you should decide. Um, Your Honor, with, um, can we have a maintained separate residence in this particular case? Because I believe it was his residence. She was gathering her items. Okay. Separate residence, no contact. If, if there has to be contact, uh, such as getting something, uh, you have to contact law enforcement. Uh, you can't go there without law enforcement. Um, if he shows up on your door, or if she shows up. I, when I was doing domestic violence, often uh, the former girlfriend who came and got the petition, she would call and say, oh, I'm so sorry, I love you, I just miss you. And then and she can't, uh, come on over. And so you go over there because she asks you to. And then you get into a fight, and then she calls the cops, and you go to jail. So uh, I'm giving you good advice based on thousands of cases that I've dealt with. Uh, at this point, 
this is it, done. There are plenty of uh, ladies out there, plenty of nice guys out there. Well, not, not as many nice guys. Um, but anyway, um, okay. The, uh, the Andre Keeley, is, that was him. Okay, then, uh, let's see, Kamana uh, McKay. Yes, All right, good morning. good morning. All right, this is a battery. We do have somebody who's stepped into the, the box to speak. Uh, so let's find out who you are, sir. Uh, so I want you to step close to the microphone. Uh, you're really tall, so you may need to, yeah. And so speak up loud and clear. Tell me your name and spell your last name. Jason Rodriguez, R-O-D-R-I-G-U-E-Z. All right, Mr. Rodriguez, uh, what is your relationship to uh, the young lady over there? Um, the father of, of um, that's, that's the mother of my child. Okay. Uh, do you all live together now? I have my own place, but we were paying for a hotel so that she wouldn't stay homeless. Okay. And uh, so... Uh, all right, and uh, have there been other incidents between the two of you in the past? Constant. Say again? Constant. Constant? Sir. Okay. Uh, and really realize that eventually something's going to happen and you may be where she is. So at this, at, if there's a constant relation, constant problem, then you need to move on. Um, Otherwise, you're going to be in handcuffs standing over there because some bad thing is going to happen. I understand, uh, but I take the risks for the safety of my son. Well, no, no, you got it backwards. Um, you really, you really have it backwards. Sir. Um, when they have, uh, when psychologists have interviewed children in their teens who are all mixed up and everything, um, they have determined that divorce doesn't cause emotional problems. What causes emotional problems is the parents fighting each other. Because oftentimes when someone's, uh, these children, uh, just like they're in the military, uh, they're in constant battleground with people screaming and yelling and cursing and, and they know the parents hate each other uh, in reality. Children are not stupid. So if you love your children, you will stay away from her other than to take care of the children. And frankly, if she's living in a hotel and she can't take care of the kids, you ought to be taking care of them and she could visit them on the weekends or something. But I think you have information that is wrong and your children are just going to be trashed. Um, uh, as so many children are just trashed when they grow up with fighting, screaming um, parents. Um, oh well, uh, she doesn't have any history, really. Uh, I'm sorry, what kind of history? Uh, criminal history. That's incorrect. Out of Florida? Okay. All right. Uh, we'll have, since they do have a child together, oh, one more thing. Uh, this is a rule. Uh, that you cannot meet in a private in your house, her house, anybody's house, or a car, or in the parking lot. You have to that they can have non-hostile contact in a public place. So you you go to the food court at Walgreens or uh, Walmart. I mean, or or where, who has a good Wal Who has a good food court? Publix. Okay, at Publix. Yeah, I'm sure public's going to love me. Um, and so, so, but meet in a public place because what I want is cameras. I want cameras. I want people. People are nice when there's witnesses. They're not so nice when there's no witnesses. And so meet in a public place to exchange the child. Um, no hostile contact. No living with each other as from based on what you're saying. And I'm trying to help you after seeing thousands of cases. Um, 
and uh, and I I can most of these frankly the clerks here could predict the future right clerks um, and so um, anyway no weapons no you cannot own any firearms or ammunition I'm speaking to the defendant now and uh, we'll do a five hundred dollar bond. Um, um, in this particular case, I would ask um, for a, at least a $100 bond. My client, as um, the alleged victim stated, is currently homeless. Yeah, okay, I agree. I agree. I would change it to be $100. Um, and so, um, you know, you, you may want to post that 100 bucks since she's she took all my money when she got arrested. She has around eight hundred dollars in her books. Okay. Yeah, she has money, Your Honor. She, okay, she, that's what she. All did. right, we'll do the eight hundred dollars. Pardon me. We'll do the one hundred dollars, and uh, you can get out. But, ma'am, uh, did you listen to what I was saying? Yes, Your Honor, I did. And and the worst thing, trust me, the worst thing for children is to grow up among fighting, nasty, vulgar, horrible parents. That's like uh, um, the soldiers who are in a war zone, and your children will be trashed uh, if they grow up in that environment. It's, uh, I actually, on the internet, have a book. It's, it says, the title of the book, I wrote it about 20 years ago, it's not the divorce, uh, it's, it's not the divorce, it's the fighting that hurts children. All right, thank you. Sometimes the divorce is the best thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, Belina Saunders, Saunders. Okay, uh, good morning, Ms. Saunders. Uh, you're in front of me on a battery, domestic violence. We do have someone in the audience uh, sir, very good. Uh, speak loud and clear and tell me your name and spell your last name. Yes, my name is Karastan Saunders, K-A-R-A-S-T-A-N. Uh, I'm sorry, could you do it a little slower um, and yes. say it again? Uh, yes, my name is Karastan Saunders. My last name is spelled S-A-U-N-D-E-R-S. -E okay, Saunders. And so... Um, and are you the person involved in this incident? I'm her husband, correct. Okay. And I noticed that uh, there's a lot of grabbing and hitting and things of that sort going on. Um, and scratches. Um, have you, do, I take it you and she are, are in a relationship? Yes, we're still married. We've been married for 10 years. You're married 10 years. And... Uh, you live together? Correct, yes. Okay. And has there been uh, problems of this type in the past? Uh, most of our arguments have been verbal, uh, but we've always gotten to a point where we're able to, or, or we've always gotten to a point where we've been able to talk about it in the end and get back to not just being normal, but even better. I think that this was just one of the, um, I think that this was an instance where we, all right, I think that there's been like an argument brewing. I'm oh, sorry, there was an argument brewing for about a day or so. Okay. And emotions uh, just boiled over. All right. Now, uh, do you, do you, I, I know you seem to be a big guy and, 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 and you know, you take care of yourself, but uh, do you fear her? No, no, no. Okay. Um, you know, you heard me a few minutes ago say that the worst thing for children is to be around screaming, battling parents. That's what hurts them. We both uh, agree. And so, uh, do you think that you and she should continue to live together? Yes, sir. You, you do? Yes. Okay. Uh, you realize, like I said to that other man, uh, you could be the next person standing there um, living here in the Orange County Jail. And so a lot of times it's just a matter of who the police decide to arrest based on both people hitting each other or everybody goes to jail. Oh, yes, correct. It's understand. We've, um, we've been married 10 years. We dated for 
14 years, oh, sorry, for 14 of those years. And um, one, I have no reason to fear her. Two, I, I still love her with all my heart and I know she loves me, and I know she loves me as well. It's just a boiling over of emotions in this instance that we just okay. pushed it to. Is there, um, ma'am, do you feel you have some emotional or mental issues? No. Okay. Uh, you, you heard what I said a moment ago about uh, the fighting and the screaming and you going to jail and cops coming to the house, and that really makes the kids crazy. Um, how many children do you all have together? Two. Two? Okay. They're, they're good kids? Oh, yeah. They're oh. super cute. They're actually out there. Yeah, they're super <laughs> Okay. Um. Um, Your Honor, in this particular case, given she doesn't have any history of it, um, other than an arrest for, I don't know, it says engaged in public fraud, she was never convicted of it. I would ask for a $500 bond and a no hostile contact. Okay. Uh, unless there's an objection. Um, no objection from the state. Okay. All right. Uh, yes, sir? Uh, yes. Um, is it possible that I can request that that be lowered because right now she's the breadwinner and unfortunately I, I've been displaced since the COVID-19 restrictions on our working and um, Well, and now, there, there's nothing magical about 500. It's sort of traditional. So, uh, ma'am? Your Honor, um, okay. given their situation, can we place her, she qualifies, can we place her on pretrial release um, and include a $50 bond so she'll be monitored by pretrial release? Well, we pretrial, can she, does she qualify? qualify. All right, uh, we don't need 50 bucks. Uh, pretrial release is, they're good people. And, Your Honor, and, uh, so, uh, Your yes. Honor, only per statute, because it's it domestic violence, it cannot be a non-monetary it can. It, it's up to his discretion, given the facts, oh. if you look at the statute. So okay. per your discretion, normally they recommend that you don't, but if you look at the facts of a particular case, Your Honor, you could use your discretion and just give a non-monetary. Yeah. It, um, well. But we're okay with the $50. Yeah. All right. We'll do the $50, um, but, um, but ma'am, uh, for the sake of the two little boys out there, uh, they look like good kids, and hopefully they're doing well in school. Um, but it's, you know, it's, they'll remember seeing coming to the jail uh, to see about their mommy. And so uh, we don't need this ever to be again. We don't need him here in the jail either. So uh, we'll do $50 and pretrial release and no hostile contact. Okay, next uh, we have Sarah Vera, Vera, uh, Regina Sarah Vera. Yes, ma'am. Okay, and you're Miss Sarah Vera? Yeah, good morning, Your Honor. Good morning. And this is uh, battery domestic violence. Do we have anybody in the audience? I don't think there is anybody left. Okay. Um, State, uh, your thoughts about the seriousness of this? I'm, I'm just reviewing it again, Your Honor. Yes. Uh. Your Honor, she has next to no history. Her last conviction was in 2011. Um, although it actually was a battery. Um, she allegedly punched the victim in the side of the head. I would still go with the $500 bond. Okay. All right. Um, and... No objection from defense, Your Honor. Okay. Okay, this is a boyfriend of 10 years. Um, do you have children together? Yeah, one daughter. Okay. Um, all right, we'll do the uh, $500, uh, no hostile contact. And do you all live together? 
Yes, we do. Okay. All right. So you can go back and live together because there's not anything that really is scary. Uh, I just want you to, to get a job. Are you employed? I am employed. I actually work for FedEx, so hopefully I get out soon. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. well, you should get out today, hopefully, if you can post your bond. Okay. Um, the... Um, Okay, I, I noticed that two of you got into a real argument. Um, and uh, no drinking, no alcohol. Um, it says, you know, you have to keep your brain clear uh, and um, no drinking, no alcohol, no funny cigarettes. Uh, you just have to, I want you healthy and strong. Yeah. Uh, I, you strike me as a, as a healthy, intelligent, strong woman. Is that correct? Yes. All right. And th uh, this doesn't, th th does this reflect who you are? No. Being here? No. Okay. Um, I agree. I, I, I think you're, I think you're a sharp lady and, um, and, and I tell you, this is unfortunate that you let your temper get get the best of you, but I wasn't there, and so I don't know all the dynamics. So I'll tell you, um, since you don't have any real history, we'll make your bond $100. Uh, so $100, and you can return home, no arguing. Um, thank you very much. Your Honor. Thank you. Your Honor, only because you ordered no hostile contact, even though the victim isn't here, can I then also ask for no firearms, uh, no weapons? Right. Uh, does your husband, does your boyfriend or you have any weapons, firearms or anything? No, we don't. Okay. Uh, none. none. Zero. None, none, none. Okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. Okay, next is Elma. Uh, Wingy Elma. Oh, okay, Miss Elma. Um, okay, I noticed it says she's out. Uh, it's, a, it's a he, Your Honor. Uh, I'm sorry? It's a um, he, Your Honor. Oh, a he, okay. Um, okay, Mr. Um, Mr. Elma, um, you're out on bond, and it looks like possession of a firearm by a convicted felon carrying a concealed weapon, uh, possession of cocaine, cannabis, Your drugs. Uh, Your Honor, I'd ask that you take no action on the out on bond. Um, I don't know, unless the state can see it, I don't know when the out on, the out of county war occurred. So I don't know which one occurred first. Well, what the out of county is from 2020. Oh, okay. I the oh uh, yeah the yeah, county is 2020 CT 27549 um and uh, the possession of firearm is a 21 case 21 CF 7855 so are you asking him to take action on the first well uh let me just uh i'm, I'm gonna deny your motion uh, this is uh, this possession of a firearm. Uh, uh, it says Brevard. So let me ask uh, uh, the state: uh, Do I have jurisdiction to revoke the bond uh, for an out of out of county, out of uh, Ninth Judicial Circuit uh, jurisdiction? Or do we just send them to? Brevard, assuming Brevard will come and get him and let Brevard do that? You let Brevard do that, Your Honor. Yeah, I sort of think I don't have jurisdiction. I don't want to do something that I don't have the authority to do. Um, that's Your my Honor. hesitance only. Uh, otherwise, I would revoke it. Ms. Davis, I'm sure, can correct me, but isn't the out of county the CT Oh, this case? is just out of county, yeah. so yes. well, we good. don't do it. So, yeah, all right, thank you. I was... I hadn't thought through that. So 
this really nothing for us to do other than notify Brevard. Okay. I, I guess, yeah, both of them are in Brevard. So I guess the clerk's office or pretrial release does that, notifying out of county. Yeah. Inmate records does that. But you're taking no action on the out on bonds, correct? Right. Yeah, we'll take no action because I really don't think I have jurisdiction to revoke those because I just don't think I do. Okay, next, uh, let's see, Aaron Neal. Aaron Neal. He is behavior. I'm sorry. Neal is behavior. Oh, behavior. And I'll Our, leave the appearance, Your Honor. Okay, all right, then this is a violation of probation, but it's Seminole County, so we'll take no action, uh, leave it at zero. Uh, let's just leave it at zero and, 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 and notify Seminole to come get him. Okay, next we're going to have uh, felony warrants. And um, I have in my hand uh, Atkins. Atkins. All right, Ms. Atkins, you have a violation of community control, uh, uh, aggravated battery. In, uh, and um, your bonds are all zero, and we'll leave the VOP court to address the violation of probation. Um, that, that maybe uh, state uh, we have the, she needs to go to VOP court, but uh, oh, is this meaning that that's the underlying charge? No, there's no, why was she picked up, or was this a uh, VOP warrant? Uh, yeah, here's a Department of Corrections warrant, so really it, we don't have much to say about it, um, and it said it no bond, so we just send her to VOP court, correct me if I'm mistaken. Okay, thank you. Uh, next, we have um, Michael Bassler. Mr. Bassler, um, you have a violation of probation, um, and uh, the bond is zero until you see the VOP court. And in one or two days, you'll see VOP court, and they'll uh, handle this matter. Thank you. Next is... Robert uh, Luciano, Luciano, um, this is a violation of probation. Underlying case is grand theft. Um, and uh, there's an indication there might be, yeah, I notice on the warrant that the judge signing the warrant did give a $5,000 bond. Uh, we'll leave it as that. And you'll see the VOP court in, two, in just a few days. Thank you. Next, we have note, Moat, M O T E. Moat, say again. Present. Oh, present. Okay, Mr. Moat, um, you have um, sale and delivery and a new charge, $15,000 bond, uh, possession of cocaine. 150 uh, violation of probation one two three times so those would be zero 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 until he sees the VOP court and uh, am I missing something Your Honor, I would ask that um, you revoke the out on bond okay let me turn to it possession of a concealed weapon uh, ROR okay and um, we'll revoke that and uh, we'll go ahead and do, uh, is the weapon a firearm, do we know? I can see, Your Honor. I would assume it is, but, but um. Did the state file on that? Um, looking right now. Oh, sorry. It's all right. Is, is it a firearm? Still looking. I would say no, Your Honor, only because it's a misdemeanor. 
Oh. oh. So I would ask that you take no action. I thought, um, oh. I didn't know the state didn't file on it, Your Honor. I, I don't know if it's been filed on, but if it's a misdemeanor, I would go with that it's not. Oh. Well, uh, so if it's a weapon such as a knife instead of, uh, then we'll, do, we'll go ahead and just do uh, $2,000. Thank you. Okay. Okay, then um, I have next a, uh, a, a Miles, Miley's, Crystal. Present, Your Honor. Say present, okay. Um, and so, ma'am, this is a VOP, not a VOP, but a VCC, uh, zero bond. You'll see the uh, VOP court in the next few days. Thank you very much. Now I have misdemeanors and traffic that is, and I, and I only seem to have one. Okay. Uh, is that clock right? Yes, Your Honor. Really? Uh, actually, it's slightly fast. It um, just surprised me. We're doing okay. Yeah, you're on a roll. Um, okay, VOP court again. And so you'll see the VOP court in, in just a few days, ma'am. So we don't do anything. Thank you. All right. Um, I suggest, unless someone has a better suggestion, uh, that we take a, a, a half hour and use the restroom and and review the afternoon uh, paperwork and and uh, okay thank you uh, would you uh, put your who you are on the record please and if you've been sworn in or sure. need to be sworn in yes my name is Tony with the ID number with the language line server solutions two five. Three eight four nine for Korean language. Yeah, I'm language the Korean. Oh no. Yeah. You have a mm -hmm. Yeah. Let me introduce myself to the uh, Korean speaking client. Yes. Okay. You have a You have a Yeah. 안녕하세요, 김혁사입니다. 제가 오늘 도와드리겠습니다. 잘 들리십니까? 네, 들리, 잘 네, 대답할 때만 간단 명료하게 대답해 주시고 설명하라고 할 때만 하셔야 됩니다. 감사합니다. Yes, we can communicate, Your Honor. Okay, uh, you pull the microphone down a little closer, uh, so you. Yes. Okay. And okay. <clears throat> this is a failure of defendant to appear at a court hearing in, a, um, in regards to a petty theft case. 네, 지금 수님께서는요, 페리 레프 케이스에 대해서 조언에 출두하셔야 되는데, 나우씨 아는 거에 대해서 지금 청문회를 하는 겁니다. 네, 몰랐습니다. 한 2년간 워싱턴 DC에 있었기 때문에, 어, 그게 코레라로, 바이런스가 있어가지고 밖에 일찍 나가지 못하게 해가지고 집에서만 있었습니다. I was residing at the, in a Washington, Washington D.C. 네. for about two years, and because of the you know, Corona, you know, the pandemic, I didn't go outside much at all for the past couple of years, so I didn't know. Well, you you have the public defender to represent you, and they're good people and good lawyers, and they should have you should have contacted them um, <clears throat> to contact the court if there was some issue that you're implying. But anyway, the bond is set at a thousand dollars, and. Uh, and so we'll leave it at that. All right, thank you very much. 네, 그러니까 지금 좋은 국선 변호사들이 있었는데 손님이 이용하지 않으신 겁니다. 그분들을 위해 통해 가지고 무료로 도움을 받을 수도 있는데 좌우 장관이 지금 지금 손님께서 보호 그러니까 보석금이 천불로 책정이 되어 있습니다. 네. Yes. All right, thank you. 
All right, the next Dice. case thank is you. Troy thank you, Honor. and uh, Interpreter. Thank you very much. That's all we needed. Thank you. Sure, uh, thank you. You have a great week, weekend. I mean, holidays. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank, -bye. thank you. Uh, mm -hmm. Troy um, Martin Plant. Uh, now, here's this. What do we do here? Yeah, Mr. Troy is medical. Okay, Troy is uh, not present. So, uh, hospital, I assume? Restricted movement, Your Honor. Oh, okay. Your, Your Honor, I'll waive and enter a plea of not guilty. All right, and this is a second degree misdemeanor. I don't have much information. Okay. All right. The clerk's going to give a pretrial conference, uh, and so I don't need to do a bond. Okay. Division 82, pretrial conference, January 31st, 1030 a.m., courtroom 10B. Okay. Next is uh, Ku uh, Kuana uh, Swanta Warren. Uh, restricted movement also. Okay. Uh, same. Uh, go um, ahead. I'll, I'll waive an answer plea of not guilty, Your Honor. Division 53, pretrial conference, January 26, 1 p.m., courtroom 12C. Next is Roy Dillion, Dillion, D-E-L-I-A-N. It says refusal to leave. Yeah, yes, Your Honor, I'll waive an answer plea of not guilty. Division 63, <laughs> pre-trial conference is January 26, 1 p.m., courtroom 12C. Next is Randy Max Weber uh, German, Germain. Uh, are you Mr. Germain? Yes, sir. Okay, Mr. Germain. Um, This is a jail arraignment, trespass on property other than structure or conveyance. Um, and so is there an offer here? Or are we pleading this? Your Honor, the offer from the state is a withhold of adjudication, credit time served, no return to 5826 PGA Boulevard. I did speak to Mr. Germain. We went over all the rights we would be given up. He understands those rights and would like to enter a plea of no contest. All right. Uh, unless there's an objection by the state, we'll go ahead and order that. No objection. Your and as far as, so we would go ahead and do court cost. Yes, Your Honor. Court cost, uh, public defender, $50 lien. Um, and uh, since he's able-bodied, uh, we'll send it to collections court. We'll do a monthly payment of uh, $20 uh, to begin um, January uh, 20th and the 20th of each month thereafter. Thank you. I'm sorry, Madam Clerk, how many days does he? 33. Okay, thank you. And credit for time served. Yes, thank okay. you. Okay, all right, thank you. Uh, next, we have uh, Lamonta Travell Hargrove. Hargrove. Uh, medical, Your Honor. All right, uh, to be brought to uh, IAs. No, uh, no, Your Honor, I'll waive an answer plea of not guilty. All right. Um, Division 81 pretrial conference will be February 4th, 9 a.m., courtroom 4. <clears throat> Next is Jorge uh, hey, hey Julius, H-I-J-U-E-L-O-S. Your Honor, um, he is medical, and I will waive an answer plea of not guilty. Thank you. Division 83, pretrial conference, January 24th, 8.30 a.m., courtroom 6C. Scott uh, uh, 
I'm not sure how to say it. K-O-I? Koi. Koi? Yes, Your Honor. Um, he, is it, yeah, he's medical, and I'll enter a plea of not guilty, Your Honor, and waive the appearance. Decision 62, pre-trial conference, January 31st, 8.30 a.m., courtroom 9B. Brett Isaac or Isaac Brett, I'm not sure which. Uh, Maldonado, Maldonado, Maldonado with a CA at the end. He's medical, no. Your Honor. Um, if you, I think I don't, I don't see that we're appointed. I would ask that you appoint us, Your Honor, and I'll waive the appearance and enter a plea of not guilty. Division 85, pre-trial conference, February 7th, 8 p.m. Courtroom 4A. Dennis Martin, Martin, M-A-R-T-I-N. Medical. And I will waive the appearance, Your Honor, and answer a plea of not guilty. Hi, pre-trial conference, February 7th, 9 a.m., courtroom 4A. Thomas Earl Nelson, N-E-L-S-O-N. -S um, yes, Your Honor. Uh, the offer from the state is an adjudication of guilt, credit time served in order to resolve the case today. I did speak to Mr. Nelson. We went over the rights he would be given up. He understand those rights and would like to enter a plea of no contest. All right. And then we have court costs, $50 uh, lien, public defender lien. Uh, will, um, and sir, uh, how old are you? 70. Right there. Okay. You're 70? Yes. Okay, and you're on Social Security, I assume? Yes. Okay. All right, we'll reduce it to a judgment, please. And time served. Okay, uh, Jermaine LeVar Smith. Uh, Jermaine. Your Honor, the offer from the state is an adjudication of guilt, credit time served in order to resolve Mr. Smith's um, case today. I went over all the rights we'd be given up. He understands those rights and would like to enter a plea of no contest. All right. Uh, court cause, public defender lien, and, um, and sir, how old are you? How old are you? 41. He's 41, Your Honor. All right. We'll send it to collections court, $20 a month to be paid uh, on the 20th of each month. Beginning. Oh, be beginning January 20th. Thank you. Thank you. Next, I have, it says, misdemeanor pleables, and uh, of that group, I have Scott Bell, and this is, um, okay, Mr. Bell, uh, you have trespass in an occupied structure uh, and petty theft. Uh, this is pleable. Uh, any offer from the state? Not at this time, Your Honor. All right, uh, the trespass be uh, the I'm, I, I was going to ask, can I get ROR? Because I do have a job and I'm, I'm trying to, you know, make, make better. Like, I, I, I will come to court. I, I'm just trying to please get ROR. I, I will be there, please. Okay, the bond on trespass is $500. The petty theft is $100. Next is... You and I would ask for a no return. Oh, and yes, thank you. Uh, no return to the premises and no contact with the, the uh, any person involved. Uh, next, we have elderly Dormel. Mr. Dormel? Yeah. Okay, you have... Um, apparently, he's out on... He's out on bond. Is that what this is? Okay. No. Your Honor, 
Sorry. Your Honor, he suffers from um, mental health issues, uh, which is why he has all the open cases. We can't resolve them because he suffers from mental health illnesses. He's incompetent, deemed incompetent by the court. Um, so I would ask that you take no action due to him being incompetent and he does not meet the requirements of commitment in those cases. Um, and I just ask that you stay the bond. All right, state any objection? No objection, Your Honor. All right, uh, motion granted. Uh, petty theft bond 250. Mm -hmm. So again, Your Honor, no contact, no return. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Hey, Mrs. I'm getting bailed. I'm getting bailed out today. You have a bond here. I need it today, brother. Come on. Next is Robert Harris. Yes, sir. Uh, Mr. Harris, uh, you have trespass on property after warning, uh, and then also you have um, you're out on bond. Apparently, it says R O R. So out on uh, for a battery uh, and so the your honor there is a offer from the state to resolve the trespass with an adjudication of guilt credit time served um, he mr. Harris is willing to resolve the trespass case today I would ask that since he's resolving the trespass case that you take no action on the out on bond um, the battery I don't think there is any information filed. That may be what was it an ROR? He's saying there's. I don't see it as an ROR, but an information was filed. Okay. He has arraignment tomorrow, or he did. It's open. So it's open. Oh, okay. All right. Um, is that a good exchange? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. All right. Um, for the uh, the quid pro quo. As we law, learned in law school, right? Quid pro quo. Nobody else says that but lawyers. <laughs> um, and uh, so we'll leave the battery as is, take no action on that, and uh, we allow him to plea uh, and, and adjudicate um, no return to the place of the incident, no contact with individuals, um, 500 $50 PD fee um, and court cost. And um, we'll send it to Collections Court. And so January 20th and the 20th of each month thereafter, he's to pay $20. Two days credit time served? Correct. Thank you. Yes, yes, sir. All right. Uh, the we have Richard Robertson, uh, Mr. Robertson. Uh, you're in custody for trespass, a structure or conveyance, and um, five hundred dollar. And let me see. Just check one thing. Your, Your Honor, um, the state is offering an adjudication of guilt credit time served to resolve the case today. Um, I did speak to Mr. Robinson. We went over all the rights he would be giving up. He understands those rights and would like to enter a plea of no contest. Okay. All right. Uh, without objection, uh, we'll do that. And uh, $50 public defender lien, standard court cost. And um, we'll send it to Collections Court, uh, $20 on the 20th of uh, January and the 20th of each month thereafter. Okay, next I have non misdemeanor non pleables is what it says. And most of these are capiuses. Um, I have a Travis Ben, B E N N. Okay, uh, Mr. Ben, uh, you have a failure to uh, appear at arraignment. Uh, a capius was issued, um, and so let me ask the state, uh, the capius, let's see, capius, okay, the capius has a bond on it, so we, we simply respect that bond, right? That is correct, Your Honor. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay, the bond on the capius is $1,500. 
Next, we have uh, Byron Garcia. Garcia, um, good morning or afternoon. What is it? It's still morning. Okay, you have a failure of defendant to appear at arraignment uh, in regards to an underlying uh, petty theft. Um, the KPS has a $2,000 uh, bond, and we'll leave it as is. Thank you. Next, I have city and county ordinances, which I mean, I, I believe that uh, allows to be pled out. As a withhold of adjudication and credit time served. Okay. Okay, this is uh, Andre Ferguson. All right, and um, public defender, if you would put a statement on the record. He needs the hearing device. I can hear, but he's talking to me. Now, um, Your Honor, the offer of the state is a withhold of adjudication, credit time served. Um, Ms. Ferguson uh, would like to resolve the case today and enter a plea of no contest. Okay, what about the, um, uh, is this a KPS or we have a thousand, we have a, a failure to appear um, ROR, this thousand dollar bond. And then we have a second one. Uh, she was allowed out on ROR and we have a 250 bond. And then we have the, this disorderly conduct. So we have two existing cases and this new case. Do you need a case number? Would that help you? If you are okay. See, it's a possession of cocaine and paraphernalia, and then disorderly conduct, and then again disorderly conduct. It, um, it, it strikes me that there's mental health issues, perhaps. Um, Your Honor, we, um, in, a, in agreement with the state, I'm in agreement with the state to resolve the, both disorderly conduct charges um, with a withhold credit time served and uh, just to stay the bond in the 2021 CF 159758 That's the cocaine. Thank you. Yeah. Yep, Ms. Ferguson is in agreement with that, Your Honor. Okay. All right, Madam Clerk, uh, the prior disorderly conduct, uh, time served, uh, $50 court cost, I mean $50 public defender money uh, court cost, uh, let's reduce it to a judgment. Uh, I don't see that there's ability to pay here. Um, and then uh, credit for time served, uh, uh, no return to the scene and, and no contact with the alleged victim. Um, then we do have uh, the cocaine, which they've agreed to leave open, and the um, that bond is a thousand dollars. We'll leave it as is, so we're not going to touch. We don't touch that. And then the same thing as I said a moment ago for the current charge. 
and we'll reduce our, all the money to judgments. Your Honor, with regard to the on bond case, the 21MO1605, can you tell me what the um, credit time served is on that, please? Two days. For the on bond as well? Mm -hmm. Thank you. See this right here? See that? Is it different? Central splits it. Right to the north end. And on bond, too. Okay, uh, Mr. Fernandez. Um, um, Your Honor, um, the offer from the state is a withhold of adjudication, credit time served. I did speak to Mr. Fernandez. We went over the rights. We've been given up. He understands those rights and would like to enter a plea of no contest. All right, uh, court cost. In addition to that, it would be court cost, public defender, $50. And um, <clears throat> and um, all right, we'll reduce it to a judgment. Okay, next is Amber Lucas. Um, yes, Your Honor. The offer from the state is a withhold of adjudication, credit time served. Um, I did speak with Ms. Lucas. She understands the rights she will be given up and would like to enter a plea of no contest. All right. Um, granted, plus $50 public defender uh, services, court cost. And um, yes, ma'am. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And we'll go ahead and reduce that to a judgment. <clears throat> Next, I have a notation that. Following ones are all fel are felonies. The first one I have is uh, let's see, Victor Antonetti. Okay, Victor Antonetti. All right, Mr. Antonetti, uh, you have there's a KPS out for your arrest. Um, and let me turn to it. It's, um, okay, this is a, a no bond on both of those. Uh, and then uh, you, so written threats, okay, all of that is KPS. Uh, let me ask the state. Uh, the written threats to kill or do bodily harm twice. Um, so would we leave the KPS as zero or is he entitled to a bond at this hearing? I believe, Your Honor, but I would have to do further research that because it's a KPS, you would leave it as is and it is up to the division judge to change the terms. Right. Okay. All right. No, That's I'm what I think too. All right, we'll leave them as is to be uh, addressed really at the division level. I don't, because uh, the, don't they, they automatically come in? Because it's an Orange County case. Maybe it's a KPS. Oh, okay. Yeah, it is. Failure to Right? 
Okay, next we have Andrew Cool. Uh, no, sir, this isn't the right time to say it. You say it at the next hearing. Uh, Andrew Cool. Your Honor. Andrew Cool, uh, Grand Theft Third Degree. Um, I don't think that's right, um, to be honest. So, we uh, we have a uh, surety bond uh, of one in one case a surety bond in another case, uh, and this we have uh, new charges. Okay, uh, we'll go ahead and uh, re uh, revoke the mm. bonds, change each of them to be a thousand dollars, and then on the new case. The grand theft uh, third degree is um, we'll go ahead and make that five thousand, and then driving with suspended license revoked a um, thousand, and then uh, the tag issue a hundred dollars fine. Runner, how can you raise it up? Because um, I I felt it was the appropriate thing to do. Um, okay, and that's it. Thank you. Here, well, did you double? Did you double that on? Next, we have LeVar Cooper. No, he LeVar Cooper. Uh, Mr. Cooper, you have possession of a firearm by a convicted felon, and then you have uh, controlled substance, drugs, uh, drugs, grand theft, uh, cannabis, uh, and it goes on and on. Not, it's not the worst that we've seen, but it's certainly not the best, uh, good. Okay. So we'll change this to possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. The bond is ten thousand dollars. Next is um, we have uh, we have next uh, Hackett, uh, Hooten, or Hewton, Houghton. Uh, Hackett, please. Hackett. Uh, and Hackett, um, resisting an officer without violence. Now, looking at his background, <clears throat> last conviction, uh, interference with custody of a minor, which may be domestic, uh, trespass, possession, cannabis, uh, another... Uh, minor possession, uh, domestic issue, grand theft, and then out of state, um, aggravated assault, uh, threats, disorderly, assaults, assaults. Um, okay, and then we have uh, a KPS and so this is, oh, uh, Madam Clerk. What is this? The prisoner doesn't stop. Yes, give me a second. She, she stopped. Um, oh, sorry. Does anybody know what uh, he's out on bond? The clerk tells it, me. Your Honor, he. it looks like he has an act of um, incompetency. Case in his out on bond charge, 2019 CF 10820. Um, because he has been deemed incompetent, Your Honor, I would ask that you take no action. He does not meet the requirements of commitment. Um, so I would ask that you take no action on the out on bond. Is that what uh, ICTP means? Yes, yes Your Honor. Um, where there's a competency issue? Yes, Your Honor. Oh, okay. Incompetent to proceed. Oh, Incompetent. To proceed. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. <clears throat> so we'll leave. We won't touch that. We'll let them figure that out. Um, and then, but as far as our business today, um, resisting the officer without violence, five hundred. Uh, battery on law enforcement, twenty five hundred. Possession of controlled substance, a thousand. Uh, 
Your Honor, I would ask that you treat the remaining counts as subsidiaries, given he does have the mental health issues. Um, and we already set the, the battery and the law enforcement officer at 2,500. Usually our mental health clients, as you can see, he's currently unemployed. Um, right. So I just ask that you consider all of the factors. I guess, I guess the uh, possession, well, resisting 500 and, and then battery on law enforcement, 2,500. But the other three uh, drugs. I would ask for a $150 bond. Yeah, let's, we'll do 150 there. Resisting officer with violence. Um, we've sort of covered that on the battery, I think. So we'll do 150 there. And the meth one, we'll do 150. Um, so, um, so. All right. Uh, thank you very much. Your Honor, I would ask for no drugs, no alcohol with oh, regard yes, to the drug offenses. Um, no drugs or alcohol. Um, you know, when someone's an addict, I don't, you know, I, I, you, the, 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 what you're saying is well intended, but it almost sets them up to for failure. Um, but uh, I, I, I will do what you're saying. I just, you know, just as two intelligent people, I just sort of, the discussion is, it's just, you know, it just sets them up for failure. But, you know, uh, it really would be if we um, had them tested, because uh, then they would violate and it just, it just goes downhill from there. You know, see what I'm trying to say? No, a, I, I do, Your Honor, yeah. but the other side of that is if he is incompetent to proceed and therefore may need to be medicated, being on illegal substances is actually a bad thing. Yeah, absolutely. I told, That is totally correct. But that's for some, someone smarter than me. Um, okay, next we have Ashley Martinez, uh, Ms. Martinez. Uh, you, uh, there's a KPS for uh, possession of cocaine, and let me turn to it, and it has a zero bond, um, and, and you'll see that judge for that, and then there's failure of defendant to appear. Um, we'll go ahead and do uh, $1,000 there, and all right, thank you. Uh, what? He just has the failure to right, appear. No that's all, yeah. Oh, so that's, so that's. So it's no bond. You're gonna have to. Is that part of the motion? Oh, is that all of that? Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I misread something. Thank you. Thank you. See, together we have one good brain. <laughs> um, what am I saying? <laughs> all right. I misunderstood the form. Uh, so it's just the KPS and nothing new. Okay. 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 Next we have uh, Kanisha Price. Okay. And um, I'll uh, waive the appearance, Your Honor. Okay. And this is a KPS and this two thousand dollar bond on the KPS. Okay, next, uh, are you Mr. Towns? Yes. Yeah. Okay, uh, Mr. Towns, uh, we have KPS. I think this is all KPS. Uh, Madam Clerk, am I right? Are you right? Oh, here. Right. Um, okay, uh, there's the KPS. Uh, fleeing and uh, fleeing attempted to elude is a thousand dollar on the KPS failure of defendant to appear uh, in regarding a no valid driver's license two thousand burglary of a dwelling five thousand grand theft second degree a thousand criminal mischief a thousand and so those are all uh, KPS uh, numbers. And then next we have uh, Jeffrey Wallace. Wallace, 
Jeffrey Wallace. We have sale and delivery. Um, cocaine is a felony. Uh, the bond is $15,000. Your Honor, I would ask, my client seems to not have had any charges since 2005. Um, and he's currently disabled. I don't see anything other than that since 2005. So I would ask that you consider decreasing the bond amount in this case, given that um, he has not had any other convictions since then. Uh, state anything, any, any uh, response? Your Honor, this is a co-defendant case. And unfortunately, I don't have it before me. But I think that we left the bond at 15000 for his co-defendant. I do not have it in front of me to confirm that. Your Honor, I, I'm looking merely at his history. When I'm asking to decrease, his co-defendant, if I'm not mistaken, had a history. Um, given that he hasn't had any convictions since 2005, um, Your Honor, is the only reason I'm requesting a decrease in the bond amount. Um, whereas that was not the case with his co-defendant. Okay. Well, that makes sense because I, I really do, and you've obviously picked up my logic, which is I look at the current situation and then uh, I look at the history and that history really tells me if we've got a continuing pattern or whether we have an isolated situation. And so, uh, and that's my logic. Um, and so... Um, I want to, you know, did you graduate high school? Yes. Okay, and um, and so basically, uh, you know, the, what your attorney is, public defender is saying is that because you stayed out of trouble, then we should show you some consideration uh, on these new charges. And, and these new charges are serious because you shouldn't, be involved in this sort of situation. Uh, I, I don't know how involved you were, if, if at all, but, um, but basically stay away, from, stay away from people doing bad things and don't do bad things and get up every day, go to work like all the rest of us and life is okay. But otherwise you're just in and out of jail. Um, so, um, I will sort of reward you. Uh, I think the logic of your public defender attorney is is reasonable. So I'll go ahead and change your bond from fifteen thousand to five thousand. But it's the five thousand simply because you've stayed out of trouble, and so stay out of trouble and uh, get be, get this behind you. If you've got a drug addiction, uh, you need to talk to your attorney. Uh, we have an excellent drug court. I was actually a drug court judge for three years, and so we have an excellent drug court. And, um, and so if you have an addiction issue, if it's money, you just go to work. There's plenty of jobs out there. Um, and so like every one of us. Um, but uh, I'm going to show you respect that you haven't gotten into trouble. Um, and so you need to show yourself respect that I'm better than winding up in BRC. All right, thank you very much. Your Honor, I would ask for no contact with the co-defendant and also no drugs, no alcohol. Right, no drugs or alcohol and, um, and no contact with the co-defendant or victims and no return to the place of the incident. All right, uh, am I... Do we have something else? Well, the clerk tells me we've we've done it. We've done dude it. And it's 12.05. Hey, you guys are good. We, we got it through. Thank you. I want to uh, state and defense and the clerk and and pretrial release. And and